What's up everybody? Today we're gonna create a landscape with 4.26. We're gonna explore all the new features that Unreal have put in the landscape. So let's get started. Let's create a new level. I'm gonna put the time of day level because it's really cool. It has all the basic setup. Later in another video, I can show you how you can set up all this by yourself. So let's start by deleting all this stuff. Let's get right to the point and create our landscape. So the first thing we're gonna do is go here to modes, select landscape, and then make sure you have the edit layers on. And if you can see it, make sure you have the landmass plugin. So this will be useful to create our blueprints later. And then you have the edit layers option on. So just click create. I'm gonna choose 127 and then create. And then we have our landscape. And you, if you hold control L and you click here, you can change the lining here. So we're gonna take a look at that later. Let's get right to the point. What can you do with 4.26? You can block out really fast environments. So before, if we go to landscape, we can check our layers here. The first thing I'm gonna do is to create my ocean layer. So let's create my water here. Just put the ocean here. And you can see that my landscape is now significantly, significantly is smaller than before, but it really isn't that much. So you can just really modify this one to make your landscape look bigger and if you want to add another spline just right click add spline point here you can add another spline point you can basically create any shape you wish so it's not that your landscape became smaller it's just that the ocean is taking more space and you can just expand the landscape space by using this one here so now what you want to do is create some different height variations and we will use the landmass plugin so if you Go here, go to modes, go to landscape. And here you have, you can see that my water layer is created. I can create some rivers and other stuff too. But let's put that in another video. First, let's go to sculpt. And you can see I can have all my other tools to sculpt here. But you can see I also have this blueprint here. So what I'm gonna do is create a new layer. This will be, I can rename it like my mountain. And then what I'm going to do is to click on Blueprint and then click here and then just put Custom Landmass. Click here and now you can see I have my landmass. So what I can do is to select these points and just move them around. I can add another point here, just like that. You can really change almost everything about this spline point here so we're gonna take a look at some of the things we can do to modify this shape and how we can use it to create very interesting landscapes so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go at the properties panel and we're gonna change the fall off okay. you can see you can change the fall off here these are most the most important properties you can cap the shape and you can see that it's really low and the reason is we haven't modified the C offset we can put something here like 200 one, 1000 something or you can see how it changes also you can go back to your modes select and select the splines here you can see it here there you go there you go and what you can do is just up and down very non-destructive workflow so just keep that in mind that this will change if you have the offset so feel free to play with it let's go back to check the most important properties here let's go back to here in our world outliner we have our landmass and here we can change the properties so let's check the effects first we can blur the size like 10 something we will smooth the transition and this one is one of the most important is a coral strange so you can change this one 
and also let me turn off the cap shape you can change this one be careful not to go too high like for example if I put 10 you will easily break your shape so you want to have really low numbers here just want to have some variations to it and remember that you can always go here and modify the spline to create any shape you want really really cool very non-destructive workflow but you can even go past your limits of your ocean here if you if you really want it and decrease the offset here really cool stuff so called strange and you also have a secondary noise which is be like the smaller one so be careful too this one can have really like can really modify the shape a lot and you can change the tiling like for example 4 16 24 you can really create anything you want here and also the tiling of the second noise like 10 15 just be careful it can really affect the shape of your noise but it can really create a cool shape here so let's go back to 16 that are very cool so the next thing you want to do to add some more variation to this landscape is to add some noise here so let's create some height let's put 1000 as you can see we have in the noise here we can even crank it up and we can change the tiling like 4 or 1 and 0 0.2 you can see how it can affect everything can really create some really cool noise here change the midpoint the weight my influence you can also change the noise if you want so for this one the tiling will affect a lot if you want like 300 like 25 you can see the tiling is very evident so keep this number low I find that giving it like 2 to 5 can have the best results on your on your tiling so let's say you want to create another mountain and you are really satisfied with this one but you know you want to create some more stuff so I'm gonna put some points here and what I'm gonna do is to check this one here what I'm gonna do is to create this shape here so let's say you want to create another one well that's very easy just go back to modes and select this one look at what you can do you can select your spline and holding alt you can duplicate this one. Oh, uh, let's go back again just go to the landscape mode and then click this one and then just not not this one select the spline and duplicate this one here and now you can see you can have another one here and you can see have different properties so you can change the properties have a different look and you can also change the spline here you can have something like this All right now I can do another thing now I can create another landmass let me create another layer or instead I'm just going to click on this one click on this one and then select the spline and then duplicate it just make sure it's smaller very small and what I'm gonna do is to cap the shape and not only that I'm gonna increase the offset maybe 600 and I'm gonna remove the noise for now and uh, you can see that I can have this shape now that is blending with the other one and if you want a different blending we can go to the smooth blending and check the out the smooth threshold you can put like 1000 or 2000 or you can see how this terrain blends with another one and we can also change the way we blend this landscape so check that inner threshold can smooth this area and let's put a little bit of tiling here a, a little bit of a strange yeah just just a little bit and let's create this one here make this one smaller 
if you want to delete a point you select this one delete delete the less points we have the better we can modify our shape so let's put this one 500 then let's go here to the cap the shape and then modify this one something like this and we can the smooth threshold can put like 500 there you go very nice and let's also just change the this one and also the tiling from this one and the strange all right so now we can blend this ones let's delete this one and then go here let's let's just blend it now you can see we have another terrain here very different and we can change the height here like 500 i'll we'll just have some small variation here if you want to keep anything just select the splines duplicate it move it here you can even increase the height increase the height of it something like this super massive if you want really cool stuff the other thing you can do is to put some terrace alpha this is like 500 and you can see I have like the the smoothness I can put to 1 2.2 can put the terrace spacing like very lot we can increase this one there is spacing 522 mass length all right we can change the offset where it starts I can put all the terrain here to have some different variations and we can of course smooth this out there you have really really cool stuff and you can go here and just make it lower very cool the last thing I just want to add is a river so let's go here go for the river just put it here and you see you have your spline or you can just click the points here and just duplicate the points and just put it something like this there you go and you can also go to your layers create a new layer and also sculpt the normal way you will do you can really make big changes here like something like this we want to modify this one here something like that I don't recommend it looks very ugly but if you want to undo the changes just remove the layer and you will be able to see the changes so if you like this video Click the like button, subscribe, and we will have more tutorials coming up soon. Be sure to check out the channels and let us know in the comment which kind of tutorial you wish to know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.